COMS is currently looking very bullish, but there are a few things that I would like for you to take a look at as a potential trap for bulls can actually be at play. Let's find out now. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by. Once again, this is Arca coming at you with a COMS uh, technicals and raw price action threat of analysis. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video with a friend so that you and them could consider joining our trading community called RCAB in Discord. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right into the charts. So we are looking at COMS on the eight hour chart here, and we are looking at what could be a potential bull trap. And the reason why I say this is, first of all, because this is looking like a rising wedge usually rising wedges present a bearish bearish outlook okay so now for the new viewers we have been following uh the breakout process a very complex breakout process that comms actually went through uh is actually it actually uh, consisted of two different formations so this was the trend that we were following which is called a descending uh channel and we also had a broadening descending wedge here, uh, both of which required three uh, three tests of the resistance before a capitulation and then a true breakout attempt on test number four. We're not about to count them all, but there is all of the uh, both of the formations met their fourth try and it continued on to the upside. OK, so now let's go ahead and move on to the next chart now that we have everybody updated as to what we were looking at. OK, so in this chart particularly, this is a right angle triangle that I noticed uh, a few days ago and I called it out uh, when we had this breakout here. I actually told them that I actually told everybody another bull trap here. So we definitely came down. Uh, Arca sucks. Nobody likes them. And it and it happened. So <laughs> uh, anyway, so we have since moved to the upside. I, I do have to express some fear within this, though, uh, which is now making me feel that we may be trading this right angle triangle or a descending triangle in the incorrect time frame. So we are looking at the four hour chart here. OK, and now as you start, this is a little bit of candle analysis. OK, but you need more validations than this just to be able to call a downside. Um, so when you when you have these massive candles going up and as uh, you know, to the upside, you see here. So huge buy pressure big buy pressure it's not as large as these and then the 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 buy pressure starts to slow down and then you start to see the candles diminish in size that usually presents a, the the slowing down or the loss of bull strength okay so in this case we are potentially i haven't actually looked at this chart so i'm looking at it real uh discretionarily right now on on like just on the fly so we can be able to uh to uh, make the magic work. So, sorry, you guys. That's uh, my little. That's my toddler right outside screaming at daddy because he's inside in the studio doing the uh, stocks instead of playing uh, with him. So <laughs> uh, we're gonna we're going we'll go ahead and make this as fast as we can so that the little guy can have his daddy back. So. Uh, yeah, so in this case, when you start to look at that price action, bearish signals start to flash, at least in my uh, in my strategy, right? So you're looking at something like this here, and you can see that the candles are following the formation pretty nicely, and we can do something like this as well. Uh, okay, so usually this... Uh, this wedge does or the I'm sorry. Yeah, the rising wedge does have a bearish price uh, objective for us to look at. So that can be acquired by taking a trend line from the top of the triangle to the lowest point of the triangle. And we can apply it to where usually they tend to break out. This is since this was a premature breakout at the on the larger triangle. I can only assume that a break on this could be uh, likely and also uh, prematurely as well. Um, if if. If we were to break out from this where it typically breaks out, like the 70 to 75 percent, which is normal, um, I don't know, probably about this area here could be the 70 percent mark to this area. So if we did break out in this area here, we can see there's direct confluence with us coming back to the newly converted resistance of the descending triangle into support so then we could continue on our on our way up but the price action looks like it's indicating a potential uh pullback to eventually trade this range here i can't officially call a full-on reversal here this may be a pullback soon okay so the, the, there is the possibility that we can wick up and wick up and then fail it but it looks like even it looks like the buying pressure is a little cooked here uh let's let's just look at this one more time okay so the premature breakout is actually 
following the playbook rule. So you you have uh, test number one, two, three, and uh, the actual attempt at breakout on test number four is happening. Man, so usually when you break out on test number four from these uh, formations, you do have to retrace to come back and test a newly converted resistance into support, which could be what may happen very soon. Uh, okay, so I, I definitely need the bulls to watch their longs uh, on what's happening over here. So we we have the SMA 10 in, uh, which is this green line here, the 10-day simple moving average. We do have it as a form of support, which is which could also indicate a potential pullback since we can come back here and catch up with the moving averages and continue on to the upside. Okay, so this is uh, it, it's looking a little scary at the moment. So then now let's look at the RSIs and see if see if we are overbought or or we're in critical hot areas uh this is particular to the 12 hour rsi Th these are the diver this is the divergence chart for you to tag along with and look at um, divergences are usually the opposition of price action versus a momentum indicators uh higher higher lower low structure so in this case we did notice several 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 drives of uh bearish of hidden bearish divergence um which usually happens when the rsi signal is making a higher high structure and the price action is making a higher low structure so in this case we did call that uh th that top and it's since capitulated to the bottom right over here and we did notice one two three four drives of uh, actually these these were the drives that we actually said we were going to correct so there they are still they are still uh, pending and we will get back to that when we have confirmation okay so the drives were potentially from this pivot right here to a few of them back here and it did play out and as you can see here the 12 hour rsi is already at 75.74 of overbought which is already let's see let's just look back with uh, there's still some room to go up which is which is in accordance to what I was saying within this uh, within this rising wedge. So we could still face some upside, maybe wick up to the top, test our very high up here of about 17.05 before finding a continuation to the downside and finding support within this uh, within this trend of the rising wedge. But the rising wedge does have a bearish outlook. Definitely know, definitely know that. Okay. Um, now let's go ahead and open up a multi pane so that we can see just what price action. Can can do tomorrow uh, potentially of course know that i'm not a financial advisor please take whatever i do show and iterate within these videos as a form of entertainment i can't actually suggest for you to buy or sell any assets okay so just do your own dd and and we'll be okay all right so now yeah let's let's just take a look at what we have here so yeah there is still some upside left for for coms in in a very like i said in a discretionary manner like i'm telling you that there is some slowing down of price action, but the daily is is still suggesting a massive continuation to the upside. Uh, let's see just how far the day. Yeah, okay. Um, if it is gonna if it is gonna do that upside continuation in a massive manner, it could actually fake out the people into thinking that we are gonna break out of a bearish formation, make a higher high here, uh, based on what's happening here. We can see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, if I can draw, no, well, maybe, maybe we can get, we, maybe we can obtain, uh, a target here. If we can look at, there is a potential to where we can touch, uh, yeah, so 16 to 21, uh, 16 to 21 range, but now let me just take a, I'm sorry I'm doing this like this, you guys. I just this is part of the magic. It works as I go on the fly. So I'm gonna take it from the swing high to the swing low. And uh, 20 yeah, so I said about 21, right? Based on this price, uh price right over what where was it? Oh yeah, based on this one here is the is the what the heck is it? when did I say 21? Okay. Um know that we do have the one spot six one eight here, okay? 17 cents. 1784 which is close to the 18 
uh, cent mark. So the 1 spot 618 could likely be an area of strong resistance before finding some downside. And if it does surpass this with the thrust that the that the uh, RSI is suggesting on a daily because this still has this still has massive upside to go. Uh, there could be a pullback at the very highest between 20 and 22, which is located between the two spot 72 and the two spot 618. Um, yeah, that is potentially what I'm what I'm that's potentially what I'm looking at here. And that actually makes me curious as to maybe adjusting the trend line here from this pivot. Uh, to this pivot right over here. So if we do that, then we can, yeah, th this, if we align to this trend, we can potentially see a touch of the 2 spot 618 before retracing. Um, but this is best case scenario, okay, you guys? I, I, I see we're slowing down just a little bit out of fear. But so the, the more likely target for me would honestly be the, at the very highest, the 1784 area, 18 cents at the one spot 618. Okay, so definitely, definitely watch your lungs in this area, but there's still upside suggesting here. Uh, there could be a little bit of slowing down. No, it's, it, yeah, well, there could be a little bit of a slowdown based on this pivot here from the 30 minute immediate short term. Uh, actually, that is not. Let me look at the 30 minute. The 30 minute is, uh, let's see. Yeah, it, it, it is uh, pulling back just a little bit, but it's very, very much in the grips of the bull strength percentile, which is uh, this zone right up here. You have the four zones of the RSI, so you can look. So you can look on the on the right here. So the yeah, it's it's looking like we may face a, a short term pullback, but very very short term before a continuation to the upside based on the continuation of all of the higher term time frame RSIs. So this could likely be another reaccumulation period right down to what could be. Let's see, uh, an accumulation period could be at about. Uh, the range between 14 and 1359, uh, between the not 786 and the not 618. So this could be a likely area for it to open up a long position and have a short-term scalp to the one spot 618. Okay, so uh, yeah, you guys just uh watch your longs in this this is already getting a little red hot but there is still some upside uh expect the downside after this cooks okay so i think this is a pretty good place for me to leave off the video if you have any questions or concerns don't hesitate to reach out to me within discord or twitter i'll make sure to leave the links in the description below for you to consider uh, joining the trading community in discord called rcab but with that said i wish you well a very good night and i will catch you at the bell manana adios